Hello, my name is Laurel Papworth, and if you have a Stream Deck and you'd like to set it up with Zoom, I'm going to show you how to do it. In the top right hand corner of your Zoom is a settings menu, and when you go to your settings, you'll see keyboard shortcut. And this is going to tell you the keyboard shortcuts that actually work on this machine, on this laptop, or whatever it is you're using. I don't use the website shortcuts because they're different and they don't work. These are the ones that work for me. So yes, profile, settings, then down to keyboard shortcuts. You're not going to probably map all of these, but you will be mapping some of these to your Stream Deck keys. So the ones that I've got are like mute, unmute my audio, and that's a button over here. And I also have start screen sharing, direct share, which is over here as well, screen sharing, and it's pretty easy to do. So let me show you how to do that. On the Stream Deck app that comes with the Stream Deck, I think you have to download it. You want to go down to system and then hotkey and just drag a hotkey to the top left hand corner and the one I want to take is uh, let's say mute unmute my audio f16 is the one I've set it for yours will be different so I'm going to call that one mute oops and then f16 or whatever your mute button is once you've done that it dynamically updates on your stream deck so as you look at your stream deck you'll see that it's been updated if you've got multiple uses for your stream deck then i've got one here for obs and one for zoom i can create different profiles to change the logo icon it's always the same thing you can go into your files we've got here icons 256 by 256 so you can create them in canva or photoshop or something as well and then have a look at them as icons and choose the icon it's most suitable for you and what you would like to use it for. So that's why I've changed some of these. I've also done a little headshot to remind me to move backwards and forwards between gallery view and single presenter view because I forget. So that's it. You just keep going through these keyboard shortcuts, choosing the ones that you like. Once you've done that, come back to system hotkeys, drag the hotkey wherever you want it to be assign the key, give it a title, change the, the icon if you want. You don't have to save anything. It's all dynamically live updating and you are good to go. I hope you found that useful. I have another video coming up, which is my Zoom room tour, Zoom studio tour. And it makes it sound fancy, but really it's the lighting and the cameras and microphones and everything I have set up so that you can see what I do. Thank you.